Indian cycling star S.O. Alban targets Olympic gold S.O. Alban was just three years of age when the deadly tsunami struck the Andaman and Nicobar Islands on Boxing Day 2004. More than 2,000 people lost their lives in the trail of utter devastation that followed on the remote archipelago some 1,400 kilometers from the Indian mainland. S.O. was fortunate to live with his family in a property on high ground above the capital Port Blair so escaped unscathed, unlike so many others on that fateful day. Fast forward to 2020 and the now teenage Esso is making headlines for his birthplace for very different reasons, a beacon of hope for the future after the terrors and uncertainty of the past. The 18-year-old is the rising young star of Indian sport, dipped for the top in the highly specialist sport of track cycling, but mature enough to realize his greater responsibilities. I want to be an ambassador for both the islands and for India, Esso told CNN. The victorious Indian team after receiving their gold medals for the team sprint in the 2019 World Junior Track Championships in Germany. The victorious Indian team after receiving their gold medals for the team sprint in the 2019 World Junior Track Championships in Germany. Aim for the diamond in an unprecedented achievement, India, led by SO, won the gold medal in the team sprint at the World Junior Championships in Germany last year, stunning Australia in the final. He also bagged individual medals in both the sprint and his favoured event of the Kirin. Now entering the senior ranks, S.O. has the 2024 Olympics in Paris in his sights and top step on the podium. My coach tells me to aim for the diamond and you can settle for the gold, he said with a smile. S.O.'s exploits have not gone unnoticed and earned him an invite to the prestigious Berlin Sichtstadrennen, six-day, event in the German capital where he quickly made his mark against competitors vastly more experienced, including the Olympic silver medalist and nine-time Berlin six-day sprint champion Maximilian Lavie of Germany. The first Indian to compete in the 109th staging of the event, he was accompanied by his favorite Bollywood-style music as he circled the 250-meter velodrome ahead of his timed individual attempts over one lap. With a squat and muscular build, SO has all the physical tools for track sprinting and reached speeds well in excess of 70 kph, 44 mph, before lunging for the line to extract a last millisecond for the timed effort. As expected, Levy dominated the competition, but on the penultimate night had to make way for the young upstart as SO kept him at bay and then powered past Thomas Pabek of the Czech Republic, a former World Championship silver medalist, to win the Kirin event. Other outright wins escaped him, but S.O. had already become a crowd favorite with his attacking style and showboating antics. I'm a showman, I like to play to the crowd, he said. It's such a great honor to race here and I like to give something back, S.O. played to the packed crowd at the Berlin Velodrome with showman antics. First love in a country where cricket dominates the front and back page headlines, S.O.'s achievements are gaining traction among the wider Indian public, a scenario all the more remarkable given where he hails from. The makeshift cycling track on the islands was destroyed by the 2004 tsunami, but this did not stop the young SR from trying to emulate his father, who was a keen cyclist himself. As a child he did try cricket. I played when I was 8 years old, but not too much, he said. His talents clearly lay in other areas, his powerful physique better suited to individual non-ball sports. The Sports Authority India, SAI came calling in 2014 after Esau took part in a series of trials to test his aptitude in various sports. He was initially pointed in the direction of rowing, picked to attend a special sports school in Port Blair, but he quickly switched to his first love of cycling. Esau, third left, and the other Berlin six-day sprinters are sprayed with champagne by retiring former Olympic gold medalist Miriam Welt, far right, at a ceremony on the final night of competition. A silver medal at the under-15 national track championships in 2015 kickstarted his meteoric rise and Asa was fast-tracked to India's National Cycling Training Centre in New Delhi. The Indian capital hosted the 2010 Commonwealth Games, and with it came much-needed new sports stadia, including a 250-metre indoor cycling velodrome, the first in the country and a must for international level training and competition. The cost of providing these facilities and the other infrastructure, with millions of Indians still living in grinding poverty, plus problems with the organization in the build-up to the event, left many to question the wisdom of India hosting such a major games. However, the Sari did take the opportunity to up its game, including a fledgling development program for track cycling, 
purchasing the specialist bike equipment from a British-based manufacturer. Riding with a smile on his face, SR relished the experience of mixing it with the big guns in Berlin. National coach R.K. Sharma, who accompanied his prodigy SR to Berlin, believes it has been a vital ingredient in the success. There was a lot of controversy about India hosting the Commonwealth Games, but because of them we have world-class stadiums in Delhi and most of the national teams are making use of them, Sharma told CNN. A former national standard cyclist who took retirement from the Indian Air Force before embarking on his coaching career, Sharma has overseen a program that is producing a string of world-class junior sprinters. SL's teammates in the Golden Team Sprint Triumph, Y. Rajat Singh and L. Ronaldo Singh, still have another year in junior ranks, with the latter ranked world number one in the sprint and carrying individual disciplines, so the future looks bright. Tasting success. SR shows off his gold medal from the World Junior Track Championships. Young female Indian sprinters are also in the upper echelons of the World Junior Rankings, no doubt inspired by the achievements of Deborah Harold, who also hails from the Andaman and Nicobar Islands and was nine years old when the tsunami struck. In the chaos, she was swept away from the grip of her parents and only survived by climbing up a tree while the torrent raged below her. She later attended the same sports institute in Port Blair as SR progressing to win medals at Asian Championship levels and qualifying for Senior World Championship events. Harold's achievements aside, Esau is the first athlete from the island to make their mark on the world stage in any sport and hopes to prove an inspiration to others. Esau Alban takes one of the sprint heats at the Berlin Six Day with a typical head-down lunch for the line. Like an elder brother he takes his inspiration from Malaysia's pocket rocket Azizul Hasni Wang who has led the way in Asian cycling with a gold medal at the 2017 World Championships in the Kirin and bronze in that discipline at the 2016 Olympics in Rio. The two faced each other in the quarterfinals of the sprint competition at the Asian Games last year and Awan was impressed by his young rival. He came to the pit and asked how old is he said Sharma, who told the Malaysian he was just 18 years old. I had such a tough time with him, said Awan. The step up from junior to senior competition is a steep one and to beat the likes of Awan and Lavi on a regular basis will require year after year of intensive training at the National Centre in Delhi. The last three years has seen the Indian youngsters attend the summer training camp in Cottbus, Germany, with Lavi taking a particular interest in Esau. Max has been like an elder brother to Esau, helping him and guiding him, said Sharma. The Indian team were at the Cottbus track on the fateful day in June 2018 when German Olympic star Christina Vogel suffered life-changing injuries in a horror crash in training. Christina Vogel, paralyzed cycling star turns to politics hungry for success The accident is a reminder of the dangers of track cycling as riders race around steep velodromes at high speeds on a fixed wheel bike with no brakes. Esau's hero Awan infamously had his leg pierced through by a 20-centimeter long wood splinter after crashing at a World Cup event in 2011, and the young star has had a few tumbles on the way. I focus them a lot on technique and balance, said Sharma. But racing within inches of each other at 70 kph, accidents sometimes happen, in a sport dominated by traditional cycling nations, securing places at the 2024 Olympics will be no mean feat with Sharma targeting 2022 as an important year, with both the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, England and the Asian Games in Hangzhou, China. The year will also mark the start of the qualification period for Paris 2024, with points being awarded at World Cup events and the World Championships. Both Esau and Sharma are hungry for success. If we can win at junior level, why not elite said Sharma. I want to see our national flag on top at Olympic Games is the intro to SR's Facebook page. Previous Indian success at Olympic Games has mostly come from its field hockey teams with eight of its nine golds, but there is a growing recognition that track cycling can provide the route to more medals. SR was voted Young Indian Sportsman of the Year at a recent prestigious awards ceremony in Mumbai, receiving his prize from cricket legend Sunil Gavaskar. It is said to be the first of many such plaudits for a young man in a hurry with gold in his sights and a steely determination to succeed. Please save trees and nature, please subscribe my channel thank you.